In this video, I'm going to show you how to add logins to your Webflow website in under one minute using our Vault Vision authentication service. Once you have added our auth capability, it's super easy to integrate with other services like Stripe and Airtable. And the best part is you can do this all with no code. We've done all the hard work to make it trivial to add user-driven Airtable records so that you can build micro SaaSes or fully functional web apps all with no code, all within Webflow. And we've got the seven steps listed on the screen to the And we're going to start the timer. So the first thing is we're going to go to the Made in Webflow page. We're going to search for Vault Vision, find our template, and then clone this into a Webflow site. Once we've created the site, we're going to give it a name. In this case, it's going to be Fast Off Now. And we're going to have Webflow initiate the build. Now, once Webflow has built the site, we're going to go to Vault Vision, and we're going to use that same name in our no-code quick start to build our auth tenant. So here we go with fastauthnow.webflow.io. And as soon as we create the tenant, all we need to do is copy this script tag, bring it back to Webflow, go to our project settings, find the custom code tab, and we simply paste in this script tag. And then we wait. After we publish, we wait. And after this, we will instantly have a website on Webflow all within 58 seconds. So let's check out what it actually built. So this is the website that we've just published. And you can see it's got a login and a sign up button. So let's go ahead and sign up as a new user. This is our new sign in screen where we can register new users. Uh, I'm going to type in my email address here. And one of the great things about our auth service is not only do we support password logins, but we also support passkey. So passkey is a new ultra secure, ultra convenient way of logging in that uses a hardware backed token or chip on your device. Uh, and you can see here, I've launched mine, I'm entering in my pin and I'm logging in all without a password. Uh, and of course we have an option to verify emails uh, this is sending an email verification code to my email address that I entered when I registered. Uh, once I get that email, I will add this code and verify this account. Now, again, this is an option. You don't necessarily have to include this, but it does help keeping uh, bad user emails at bay. And voila, you can see I've registered a new user. I've got the user context in my application now. You can see my username my name, we have the ability to go to a profile, we can use this user context now to integrate with other cool products like Airtable or Stripe. Now that we've got a user context, it's very easy to use some of our other plugin capabilities to get a no-code solution. So thank you for watching.